He says, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Now, if he is the Father, he wouldn't say, believe me that I am in the Father. He would say, believe me that I am the Father. And he never says that, ever. Never, one time in Scripture, does Jesus ever say that he is the Father. The only thing that we have that would even be close to that is Isaiah 9, 6 giving the name of everlasting father to Jesus. But again, this isn't talking about the, the Godhead. This isn't talking about God the Father in Isaiah 9, 6. This is just a title that's given to him that is associated with him being a ruler. And we'll get into that real soon. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Turn to Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4. So understanding this, John 14, we could go to a multitude of other verses showing the distinction between God the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Him saying, I'm in the Father, but he's not the Father, is very important. So how can Jesus be considered a Father then? If he's called the Everlasting Father. Well, there's multiple ways that you could be considered a Father from Scripture. And I'm going to show that to you and, and, and clearly see. So you're going to have a, m many ways to interpret this, but then I'm going to give you finally what I believe, because even though there may be many ways you can see this, I think there's one way that's right. That, that what it really means, just what, it, what does it mean? Romans 4, verse 11, the Bible says, here we're going to look at Abraham. Because Abraham is considered a father to all believers, to everyone of faith. He's considered a father. Now, is he your father? No, but he's, he's called a father. He's called a father of faith. Look at Romans 4, verse 11, the Bible says, And he received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the faith which he had, yet being uncircumcised. This is referring to Abraham. He received the sign of circumcision that he might be the father of all them that believe. Abraham received the, the, the sign of circumcision that he might be the father of all them that believe. Well, there's only, I mean, does that mean he's God the father? No. Does that mean he's Jesus Christ? No. But he's still being called a father. Now, he's not being called everlasting father. But is Jesus everlasting? Without father, without mother, having neither beginning of days nor end of life? I think so. Though they be not circumcised, the righteousness might be, might be imputed unto them also. Verse 12, and the father of circumcision. So now he's called the father of circumcision. He's the father of all them that believe. He's the father of circumcision to them who are not of the circumcision only, but who also walk in the steps of that faith of our father Abraham, which he had being yet uncircumcised. So he's not even the father of the physical seed. He's father of the spiritual seed is what this is referring to. Verse number 16, jump down to verse 16. The Bible says, Therefore is of faith that it might be by grace. To the end the promise might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but to that also which is of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed, even God, who quickeneth the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were. Galatians chapter 3, verse number 6, the Bible reads, Even as Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness, know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. So if they're the children of Abraham, then Abraham's their father. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. So, and they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. And then, of course, Romans 9. Turn, if you would, to, um, to 1 Corinthians 14. Or, excuse me, 4. 1 Corinthians 4. Romans 9, verse 6 says, Not as though the word of God had taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. So many ways you can see how people can be a father, right? And how could Jesus not be considered a father, at least through the gospel, through salvation, right? People being saved. If Abraham can be counted as a father of, those, of faith, of those that believe, isn't it possible that Jesus Christ could too? Yeah. 